What up, what up, guys? It is Sunday, and I'm taking a break. And I wanted to... Yo, guys, it is Sunday, and I wanted to take a break and show you some bluegill and crappie that I caught and how I am going to prepare them. It may be a long video, but I promise it will be worth it. So, I have in my container here, milk, calendars, and lemon pepper seasoning. And I'm going to take my fillets out. They have been soaking for a few days. And I'm going to lay them out here on the... Towel. I can get quite gamey, um, so I like to make sure that that gamey test is not there. So we have a crappie on bluegill fillets here. <clears throat> I'm kind of going backwards because I actually have the other footage uh, on my camera, but I have not had a chance to upload, I am working tirelessly on a um, solid wood table set for a client, and I have not had time. All right, let's go on. Milk, calendars, and lemon papa. Alright, so, dry them off real good. Real good. Mmm, I can smell the flavoring already. It smells good. Alright. Clearly, you can tell that it is a crappie filet. So, one more dry off. Then... We're going to heat our burner to about medium, maybe like a little past medium. Um, that will not take very long to cook. So, we have our fillets, our nice, good saute pan. And I have garlic and uh, basil butter that I have made. So, I'm going to throw one of those, boom, in there. You know what, too? Ugh, the smell already is insane. So, while we have our fillets here, I'm going to... Toss them in olive oil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, baby. You can't tell me that don't look yummy. Right here. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Mm. All right, our butter is working. B-E-A, roughly. Oh, my garlic smell. Mm. All right. I always use a robber spatula for my good pans. Oh, the smell is phenomenal. All right. We are right in between medium and high. Mm -mm -mm. The smell is bala. Butter melting, 
Boom, boom, boom. Mm-mm-mm. Smells fantastic. All right, here we go. Filet. Oh, yeah, we're getting hot. Filet going down. Crappie. Bluegill. Crappie. Bluegill. I think I can get them all in there. Heck yeah, dude. Right on. Mm, mm, mm. Now, I'm going to add some calendars a little bit and a little bit of meat church lemon pepper. Mm, mm, mm. Come on, baby. Look at that. Let me see if I can move you closer. Uh, maybe. Buddy Coda hanging out there. Would you look at that? <laughs> look at it. Just look at it. The smell is freaking bomb diggity. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Time to flip. You can actually look and see the white along the bottom. That means that it's cut halfway. Time to flip. Look at that white meat. Mm -mm -mm. Yum, freaking yum. All right. Now, I want to add some. What do I want to add? Mm -mm -mm. A little bit more lemon pepper. Oh, baby, come on. Yes. <laughs> this is going to be great. Look at that. White bluegill and crappy meat. Boom. All right. Burner off. Fish. Mm. 
Now, while that is cooling off, we are going to add a little bit of lime juice. Quickly. Quickly. <laughs> it won't open. It won't open. Why won't you open? <laughs> I'm trying. There we go. Lime juice. A little bit of lemongrass. And a little bit more garlic. Plate. And a little bit of Parmesan. And we have our bluegill and crappie fillets with garlic, butter, basil, lemongrass. Mm, mm -mm. Don't worry, I'm not actually going to eat the olive butter. But man, will it be good. Mm, smell is Mm. Oh, oh man. That is freaking good. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. You know, normally, um, cheese and fish. Don't really go to other, but man, that is awesome. Mm. I hope that you enjoyed. I will do more if you want. Uh, let me know down below. Love you guys. We'll see you again on the next one.